Okay, so here's my design. Um, you can see I have kind of like a hole and peg system. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is group this together. All right, and now hopefully this peg will fit in this hole. The way that we're going to figure that out is we're going to just print out the actual mechanism here. So I'm just going to print out basically a sliver of this hole and then just part of this peg and then um, print that part out and see if it works. This way we're saving plastic. Um, so if you look over here, what I've done is I need to make a couple of holes um, to cover up all the parts that I don't want printed out. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is grab a box and I'm going to put it here and then expand it so that it covers up most of my object because I just want to print out a small amount of it. So that looks pretty good right there. And then if I highlight both and then group it together by clicking on the grouping button that'll bring it so it's just this. Now I can print it out like this or I can lay it on its side. It really depends on how you're going to print it out later on. Um, you should make it the way that it's going to print out later on. Um, so later on I'm going to print it laying down. So I'm going to rotate it around. So to rotate it you have to click on the little arrows over there and then rotate to 90. A couple uh, things about rotating. If you stay close to the center of it, it'll rotate it by large numbers. If you go out further, it'll go by each degree. So I want 90, so I'm going to go right there. Uh, you can also see it's floating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it. And you can see the number went down to 0 over here. All right, now I want to print out this one. Um, so same idea. I'm going to put a box around it. And I don't need actually any of this, so I'm just going to print out the peg. If you click this little arrow, it'll get this out of the way. Bring it up. Okay, so now it looks like most of it's covered. So I want to group that all together. Okay, now it's just this part floating. Alright, so we need to bring it down. So if I move that, I can move it down to zero, and then it's flat. And I want to move these as close together as possible. So I can print out as many people's projects overnight at once. And then that's pretty much it. That's pretty good. So since I have two objects on here, I'm going to hi um, highlight both of them. And then if I go to export, it'll export both of these together. Now make sure that you change your name to what it's supposed to be. Um, so this would be Herman, Kyle, and then I have to look over here to make sure we have the right name for the mechanism. Part 6 mechanism. Okay. So I go to export, and it says only these two selected objects or shapes. That's what I'm looking for. Download to STL. All right, so that'll download, and then where do I put it? I put it in the Part 6 Google Drive folder. So if I click on that and open it up, it'll load, and then you can just drag it right from here. And that's it. Remember, if you double-click on it, it'll say No Preview, and that's because it's a 3D object.